Hello, I'm Dr. Min Lei, Medical Consultant for Cordigen Life Sciences. Cordigen Quick Cases highlight the benefits of genetic testing with respect to patient outcome that we see every day at Cordigen. Today's quick case is that of a six-year-old male who presented to me as a second opinion. He presented with global developmental delay, motor no notice first, followed by speech. His seizures started at one and a half years old, consisting mostly of tonic atonic seizures. He has failed multiple seizure medications. Episodes of dystonia started at five and a half years of age. GI issues were also noted since infancy, consisting of cyclic vomiting, constipation, and failure to gain weight. He also had severe behavioral issues consistent with autism. EGs and MRIs were nonspecific. EPI-C panel from Cortigen reviewed an SLC68A mutation, which is a solute carrier for creatine. This mutation causes a disease called X-linked recessive creatine transporter deficiency syndrome. Metabolic testing was also ordered, but came back much later than the genetic testing came back. Urine creatine and urine creatine to creatinine ratios were extremely high. Magnetic resonance spectroscopy also showed a decreased creatine peak, confirming the diagnosis of creatine transporter deficiency. He was placed on high-dose creatine monohydrate, arginine, and glycine. He became seizure-free with no further GI issues, uh, no further emesis, and it has ability to gain weight. His energy improved. Key features of creatine transporter deficiency are intellectual disability, hypotonia, intractable seizures, movement disorders consisting of dystonia, ataxia, chorea, or athetosis, GI issues consisting of vomiting, constipation, failure to thrive, and ulcers, behavioral problems consisting of autism, hyperactivity, and self-injurious behaviors. Metabolic markers consist of normal urine guanadinoacetate and creatine, elevated urine creatine to creatinine ratio, low CSF creatinine, and decreased or absent creatine peak on magnetic resonance spectroscopy. This finding is significant because it is an X-linked recessive mutation that was inherited through his mother. The mothers can be often asymptomatic or have mild intellectual disability and can pass on the disease to 50% of the males. Treatment-wise, it is important because creatine transported deficiency is less responsive to creatine monohydrate supplementation than to creatine biosynthesis disorders caused by GAMT and AGAT mutations. There is a creatine analog in development that is now in phase two trials. The other importance is that with these genetic mutations that are known, you can avoid invasive procedures such as lumbar puncture and sedation for magnetic resonance spectroscopy. If you are interested in learning more about testing for neurological disorders, including developmental disorders, autism spectrum disorders, epilepsy or seizure disorders, and mitochondria disorders, please contact a local Cortigen representative at 877-395-7608 or visit us online at www.cortigen.com.